Introduction Hindu marriage is always considered as a sacrament. Kanya Daan is considered one of the significant rituals of a marriage. And it is considered as the marriage would not be complete without giving Vardakshina to the bridegroom. In literal sense, it means paying certain amount of money to the bridegroom. In recent times, we have witnessed alarming increase in suicidal or accidental deaths of women as the consequence of demand of dowry from her or her family. Therefore, in popular parlance, it is known as dowry death. The degradation of society due to the pernicious system of dowry and the immoral demands made by greedy and unscrupulous husbands and their relatives resulting in an alarming number of suicidal and dowry deaths by women has shocked the legislative conscience to such an extent that the legislature has deemed it necessary to provide additional provisions of law procedural as well as substantive to combat the evil and has consequently introduced certain provisions in evidence act and indian penal code in most of the cases of dowry deaths it is portrayed by the relatives of the husband that the death was either suicide or some kitchen accident the violence or death takes place within closed doors and unfortunately the people responsible for this act is the deceased's own family members it is very shocking that even though the couple is well educated and mature enough to understand the nature of this act remains silent for most of the times dowry lost its significance as a voluntary gift and started getting considered as a social evil dowry was previously considered as a gift from the parents of the bride as a symbol of love and affection however today it is considered as a weapon or tool to torture the bride and her family members dowry deaths in india incidents under dowry prohibition act need of the act the status of women in a country determines the status of economy socio political culture and development of that country we have witnessed that women in india have been subject to many evil practices under the label of sacred rituals dowry system has paved a way to female feticide sati domestic violence and what not therefore to eradicate this system from society government felt the need to enact a separate law dealing with this issue therefore dowry prohibition act came into force in 1961 object to prohibit giving or taking or dowry dowry prohibition act was enacted definition of dowry dowry means any property or valuable security given or agreed to be given either directly or indirectly by one party to a marriage to the other party to the marriage or by the parents of either party to a marriage or by any other person to either party to the marriage or to any other person at or before or any time after the marriage in connection with the marriage of the said parties penalty for giving or taking dowry if any person takes dowry or help or motivate the giving or taking of dowry then such a person is punishable with imprisonment for a term of 5 years along with fine of 15000 or the amount of dowry whichever is more the court may for adequate and special reasons may impose a imprisonment for a term less than 5 years exception presents which are given at the time of a marriage to the bride or groom without any demand having been made in that behalf provided that such presents are entered in list maintained in accordance with rule made under this act provided for that where such presents are made by 
or on behalf of the bride, or any person, related to the bride, such presents, are of a customary nature, and the value, thereof is not excessive, having regard, to the financial status of the person, by whom, or, on whose behalf, such presents are given. Penalty, for demanding dowry. If any person, demands directly, or indirectly, from the parents, or other relatives, or guardian, of a bride, or bridegroom, any dowry, he shall be punishable, with imprisonment, for a term of six months, but which may extend to, two years, and with fine, which may extend to, ten thousand. Ban on advertisement. If any person offers, through any advertisement, in any newspaper, or any form of media, any share of his property, or money, or other interest, as consideration for the marriage, of his son, or daughter, or any other relative, he shall be punishable, with imprisonment, not less than six months, which may extend to five years, or with fine, which may extend to, fifteen thousand, provided that, the court may for adequate, and special reasons, may impose a sentence, of imprisonment, for a term, less than six months. Agreement for giving, or taking dowry, to be void. Any agreement, for the giving, or taking of dowry, shall be void. Dowry to be for, the benefit of the wife, or as, where, any dowry, is received by any person, other than the women, in connection, with whose marriage it is given, that person shall transfer it, to the woman. If the dowry, was received, before marriage, within three months, after the date of marriage. If the dowry, was received, at the time of, or after the marriage, within three months, after the date of its receipt. If the dowry, was received, when the woman was a minor, then within three months, after she has attained, the age of eighteen. If any person, fails to transfer any property, within the time limit, as specifies above, he shall be punishable, with imprisonment for a term, not less than six months, which may extend to two years, or with minimum fine, of five thousand which may extend, to ten thousand rupees. If the woman, entitled to the above property, dies before receiving it, the heirs of the women, shall be entitled to claim, if from the person holding it, for the time being, if she has no children, then it will be transferred, to her parents, or if she has children, then it should be held in trust, for such children, when a person, is convicted, under this section, and has not before his conviction, transferred such property, to the person, entitled thereto. The court shall in addition to, awarding punishment, by order in writing, direct that such person, shall transfer the property, within such period, as specified, in the order, and if the person fails, to comply with the direction, within the specified period, then an amount equal, to the value of the property, may be recovered from him, as a fine imposed by court, and paid to entitled person. Burden of proof, in certain cases, where any person, is prosecuted, for taking, or abetting the taking, or any dowry, or demanding of any dowry, then the burden of proof, that he had not committed, any offence, shall be on him. Dowry, Prohibition Officers The state government, may appoint as, many dowry, prohibition officers, as it thinks fit. Every dowry, prohibition officer, shall exercise, and perform the following powers, and functions, to see that, the provision of this act, are complied with, to prevent, as far as, possible the taking, abetting the taking of, demanding of dowry, to collect, such evidences, as may be necessary, for the prosecution of persons, committing offences, under the act, the state government, for the purpose of advising, and assisting dowry, prohibition officers, in the efficient performance, of their functions, appoint an advisory board, consisting of not more than five, social welfare workers, out of whom, two shall be women, from the area, in respect, 
of which such dowry, prohibition officer, jurisdiction. Thank you.